Hey team, my name is Maxwell Hurst and I'm the Chief Operating Officer and a co-founder here at Eats to Seats. And this is the NC State training video. In this video, we're gonna teach you anything and everything you need to know to get ready for your first shift with us here at Carter Finley. And if you have any further questions, be sure to reach out to your Regional Operations Director, your Site Lead, or shoot us an email to support at eatsseats.com and we'll get back to you ASAP. Parking is at lot H7 off Trinity Road. You're gonna to need to show the attendant a parking pass, which you can get from the event-specific group meet for the event. Once you get past the attendant, drive all the way down the dirt road and park at the end of the H7 road. After you park, then you're gonna to wanna to walk to Vaughn Towers or Stadium Parking Lot C from the parking lot. Once you get to Vaughn Towers, take a left, and then you're gonna to wanna to enter the brick building all the way on the far left near gate one to check in with your Eat to Seat site lead. When you get to check in, check in using the QR code on your Eats to Seat staff app. After you check in, you'll be guided to your stand by your stand lead. To get to NC SIPs 1 and 2, you're going to want to take a right from check in, and to get to all of our other stands, Crunch Trailer, Grill Stand, NC SIPs 3 and 4, and all of our beer portables, you're going to want to take a left at check in. The first stands you'll see is the Crunch Trailer on your left, and then you'll see the Grill Stand across from it on your right. Once you get to your stand, you'll be given direction from your stand lead on how best to prepare the stand for sales. This could be preparing food items, icing down products, or restocking the stand. Sales will begin an hour and a half before the game kicks off, and once it gets closer to sales, your stand lead will give you an assignment for the rest of the shift. You will either be a cashier, a runner, or a food prepper. Cashiers will facilitate customer transactions at the points of sale. Food preppers will make food so we can serve it to customers, and runners will be the link between food preppers and cashiers, making sure that we have enough food for the cashiers to serve to customers. Cashiers, make sure that you're always upselling and maximizing the tip potential throughout the course of the shift. We will shut down at the end of the third or fourth quarter, depending on if you're at a food or an alcohol stand. Once we're ready to close down, begin cleaning up the stand and restocking the stand as directed by your stand lead. Once the stand is fully cleaned and fully restocked, you will be dismissed by your stand lead, who will then return you to check in to check out with your Eats to Seat site lead using the QR code on your Eats to Seat staff passport, which you can find on your Eats to Seat staff app. Once you check out with your site lead, you are then good to go. If you have any questions after watching this video, be sure to send us a message in the group meet or shoot us an email to support at eatsseats.com. Thank you for watching this. God bless America. God bless NC State. And cheers.